you know, we have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to watch you dance again. I really don't. Can you say, Mr. Patton? No. Uh, yeah. Well, get up. Come on. Come on, fucking around. Come on. Been around the world twice. Talked to everyone once. Seen two whales fuck. Been to three world fairs. And I even know a man in Thailand with a wooden cock. A push more Peter, more sweeter, and more completer than any other Peter pusher around. I'm a hard bodied, hairy chested, rootin', tootin', shootin', parachutin', demolition, double cap, crimpin' frogman. There ain't nothing I can't do, no sky too high, no sea too rough, no muff too tough. Learned a lot of lessons in my life. Never shoot a large caliber man with a small caliber bullet. Drive all kinds of trucks. Two buys, four buys, six buys. Those big motherfuckers that bend and go when you step on the brakes. Anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation's for cowards. I'm a lover, I'm a fighter. I'm a UDT Navy SEAL diver. I'll wine, dine, intertwine, then sneak out the back door when the refueling is done. So if you're feeling froggy, then you better jump, because this frogman's been there, done that, and is going back for more. Cheers, boys. In life, you will fall out with people that you never thought you would, get betrayed by people you trusted with all of your heart and get used by people you would do anything for. But life also has a beautiful side to it. You will get loved by someone you never thought you would have. Form new friendships with people that will establish more meaningful and stronger relationships and overcome things you never thought you would get over. We all have chapters that end with people at some point in life. But take pride in knowing that the very best part of your book is still being written. You know, we have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. Now, one side in this campaign has been telling us that the issues of this election are the maintenance of peace and prosperity. The line has been used, we've never had it so good. I won't have to worry about putting gas in my car. I won't have to worry about paying my mortgage. You know, if I, if I help him, he's going to help me. But I have an uncomfortable feeling that this prosperity isn't something on which we can base our hopes for the future. The, the key point I'm making right now is that uh, the economy is moving in a positive direction. And yet our government continues to spend $17 million a day more than the government takes in. You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. We've raised our debt limit three times in the last 12 months. And now our national debt is one and a half times bigger than all the combined debts of all the nations of the world. We're going to raise the debt limit. Uh, we always have. Uh, we will do it again. We have $15 billion in gold in our treasury. We don't own an ounce. I have been informed by the, that the majority plans to block consideration of uh, this amendment, which is number 1367, regarding the transparency at the Federal Reserve. Foreign dollar claims are $27.3 billion. It said that China has now surpassed Japan as the U.S. government's largest creditor, owning at least 10 percent of all U.S. debt, perhaps as much as $700 billion. And we've just had announced that the dollar of 1939 will now purchase 45 cents in its total value. President Obama is expected to face tough questions over the U.S. decision to pump 600 billion freshly printed dollars into its economy. Now, the move is an attempt to revive the country's finances, but will result in the devaluation of the dollar. We're at war with the most dangerous enemy that has ever faced mankind in his long climb from the swamp to the stars. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. And it's been said if we lose that war and in so doing lose this way of freedom of ours. You'll construct a legal regime 
to make indefinite detention legal. History will record with the greatest astonishment that those who had the most to lose did the least to prevent its happening. But I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. For some trips, it'll be faster than flying without the pat down. Anna was, was picked to go through. Pretty much everybody except the baby was, was picked to go through uh, the, the scanner. If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on earth. Damn America, that's in the Bible. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. I've got a core set of values that uh, I think have to be advanced um, and, and that I, my individual salvation depends on uh, our collective salvation. You and I are told increasingly we have to choose between a left or right. Well, I'd like to suggest there is no such thing as a left or right. There's only an up or down. We had an election and it was about a direction for our country. And regardless of their sincerity, their humanitarian motives, those who would trade our freedom for security have embarked on this downward course. In this boat harvesting time, they use terms like the Great Society, or as we were told a few days ago by the President, we must accept a greater government activity in the affairs of the people. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. In the end, in the end, that's what this election is about. Well, the trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant, it's just that they know so much that isn't so. It, over the course of 10 years, it would cost what it would cost us. It, it, <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to. The, it would cost us about the same as it would cost. This is a very different administration than the United States has had in the past. Do not underestimate us and do not try us. We will defend our common security, our shared prosperity, and our sacred liberty. We will not be intimidated. America does not seek conflict or confrontation, but we will never run from it. If the righteous many do not confront the wicked few, then evil will triumph. Anyone who doubts the strength or determination of the United States should look to our past and you will doubt it no longer. History is filled with discarded regimes that have foolishly tested America's resolve. We will not permit America or our allies to be blackmailed or attacked. We will not allow American cities to be threatened with destruction. We will stop radical Islamic terrorism because we cannot allow it to tear up our nation and indeed to tear up the entire world. The time for excuses is over. Now is the time for strength. If you want peace, you must stand strong at all times.
There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump will not become president. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships come down filled with dinosaurs and red capes. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. Do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on to write it down. Sorry right, to laugh. Next. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president. There is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. Donald Trump will never, ever be president okay. of the United States. Got Donald Trump will never be elected president of the United States. Donald Trump is a here today, gone tomorrow candidate for president of the United States. Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Uh, ever respectful of the fact that the people have not voted, he's not going to be president of the United States. Let's be clear. Donald Trump will lose the election. We talk about him every day and we continuously he's bash him. He's not going to be the president. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's to be a wake-up call to the Republican Party. Uh, despite Boris thinking that Donald Trump could win New York, like this, the, the presidential race is over. It just, just, could I just cut through? I have one thing to say, one thing only. And that is that this race is over. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States! Exclamation point. At real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump. At least I will go down as a president. So when you stand and deliver that State of the Union address, in no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. left in me.
forever slayed. Can you keep up? Let's ride. Stick to the shadows. This is the end of the trail for me. I got nothing left. I could only change one more time and I was saving it for this. God knows I've made my share of mistakes. Been trying to make things right ever since. Guess all I can do now is hope he sees fit to give me a second chance. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. <laughs>